I love crab cakes. There's some, just something about that nice crispy exterior and creamy interior and then the sauce. I mean, who can resist the combination of that slightly spicy, creamy, oh, everything about them is just awesome. However, being that we're plant-based, crab is obviously right out. So I came up with a recipe that replicates crab cakes both in texture and in flavor, and I think it's a real winner. All right, to make these crab cakes, you will need one can, which came, comes to like 12 to 14 ounces of hearts of palm, sliced really, really thin. Here's the way I like to do it. This is our stand-in for the crab. You will also need half an onion, diced. One rib of celery, diced. One teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning. This is what gives it kind of that from the sea type of flavor. One tablespoon of ground flax seed, also known as flax meal. Um, this gives a little bit of a binding property. It works like the egg would. For a little flavor, one tablespoon of garlic powder. A little bit of a filler slash binder, one quarter cup of chickpea flour. You could use pretty much any flour you like. I like chickpea flour for this though. One half of a bell pepper, diced. I like red, most nutrients, most ripe, that sort of thing. Plus, look at that color. A little cracked black pepper, about half a teaspoon. I like to do that straight from the uh, peppercorns rather than leave it sitting out or buy it that way. Another little bit of filler, and this also adds a little bit of flavor, and this is a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Panko would be nice. These are just standard breadcrumbs. A little bit of acidity, one teaspoon of lemon juice. Something I like is a little bit of spicy brown mustard, just yeah, a tablespoon or so. And if you like it hot, a little bit of jalapeno. Before we mix this, make sure your oven is preset to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 190 degrees Celsius. And now I will start mixing it dry before I add any water. The water, I just add enough just to bring it together. I don't like to add a lot of water to this. There's a lot of liquid in those hearts of palm. I do need a little bit though. So I'm just gonna put in eh, a couple tablespoons here just like that, and stir to combine. Now what will happen is that flax meal will start to absorb some water and it'll become kind of like a pasty kind of thing. It's called a flax egg, some people call it that way. And it works a lot like an egg for much of baking and cooking. So they're actually very, very effective. And you can see it's already starting to come together. That's pretty much the consistency we're looking for. So that was just almost a quarter cup of water. That's it. Any more water and it starts to get too wet. You don't really want that. For baking, I like to use a cookie sheet with some parchment paper on it. And I'm just gonna set that a little bit to the side for the moment. The reason I use parchment for this, I've tried using my Silpats, the silicone sheets. They just, uh, they leave it a little bit mushy on the bottom. The parchment tends to absorb a little bit of moisture so that way they don't dry out. This recipe makes about six crab cakes. So I'll just do a rough, Split down the middle and into threes. Just grab some of the mixture. Squeeze it a little bit, not too hard in my hand. Form a nice crab cake shape, something like that, and put it on the sheet. And then repeat as many times until it's gone. Not to dry, If you do end up getting a little bit left at the end there, all you gotta do is just grab one that's maybe a little smaller and, you know, reform it. Don't waste this stuff. Wasn't quite enough to make one more, so yeah, I'll just add it to him. There's our six beautifully formed crab cakes, and I'm just going to grab them and toss them into our 375 degree preheated oven, and I'll set a timer for 30 minutes. While your crab cakes are cooking is a great time to start working on your sauce. For that, I'm going to use my high-speed blender. If you do not have a high-speed blender, you want to soak these. These are your cashews, one cup please. And you want to soak them overnight or in boiling water for like 15 to 20 minutes if you don't have a high-speed blender. Some people say to do it anyway. I am not some people. One cup, cashews. My secret sauce for everything. A quarter cup of ketchup. 
Might sound crazy, but when you think about it, ketchup has vinegar, it has sweetness, it has tomato, it's got everything. One tablespoon of sriracha or your favorite hot sauce. About a half teaspoon of black pepper for a little bit of acidity. One tablespoon of lemon juice. One tablespoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of onion powder. And to that, I usually add just under a cup of water. I just like to make sure it's kind of mostly covered. I'm probably not going to use all this sauce tonight, but it's really hard to make lesser quantities than that in this blender. So I tend to just make enough and then, you know, we might have it for something else. I do want a little bit more in there. And I always regret putting more in when I do that. I just blend that till it's nice and smooth. Let's take a look inside, get a nice little taste. Oh yeah, that's got some good creaminess to it. That's what we want right there. Let me taste that. Yum. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Kind of tastes like a remoulade, a little bit of a like a spicy mayo thing going on. It just really works for crab cakes, in my opinion. At the 30 minute mark, you want to take them out of the oven and give them a flip. They stick just the tiniest little bit, so, you know, be careful. And then back in the oven. 20 minutes this time. And after 20 more minutes, this is what we have. Now I'm gonna flip them one more time and see, yeah, see the bottoms are just a little bit, well, let's say not crispy. So I'm going to put them under the broiler. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw them under the broiler for a couple of minutes, maybe like two minutes or so, just to crisp them up. And there we have our finished crab cakes ready for tasting. All right, so they look good, but how do they taste? Let me, let me get a little piece here, get some sauce. Mmm, so good. This really does replace a crab cake. It tastes just like a crab cake does. You have a little bit of crunch. The browning is just like, just perfect. There's enough char. All the veggies come through a little bit. There's even a little bit of spice in there, the kick. And then the interior is just a little bit creamy still. The sauce is really beautiful. Yeah, these are wonderful. Mmm. I need to make these a lot more often. But anyway, I'm gonna finish these, these off and Derek and I are gonna eat dinner. So um, <laughs> as always guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.